uh, this short video, uh, I'm making it in order to, that, uh, and I'm praying that God will have mercy on our young ones. Uh, it is true that the Bible prophesied that the world will become uh, a worse place as the as the days go on, as the end of the world comes. Uh, what we never suspected was that the world will be we we'll get to a situation where where people will set up shop of witchcraft and they will call it church. Uh, th that is something that is uh, be, that was is, is beyond what we ever thought it would happen. And uh, waking up this morning, uh, June eighth, and checking my Twitter Twitter feeds and seeing the picture that you have on your screen that uh, Mr. Samuel Adeyemi uh, is asking young men to, to meet him on the internet and learn what he call how to speak the language of power and leverage unlimited opportunities. I, I feel I should be able to say a word of warning to our young men and women that are following Sam Adeyemi and his uh, Daystar uh, church. Uh, I, I will not call the place a church. It's basically uh, a witchcraft uh, training center. How to speak the language of power is a uh, it's one of those things. Uh, if you if you have been following the the little work that we have been doing here, uh, you should begin to be alarmed that master sorcerers we have the effrontery of holding the Bible and calling young men and women to come to learn not how to pray to God, not how to supplicate, not how to seek God, but how to speak the language of power. Speaking the language of power is something that is totally alien is totally foreign to biblical Christianity. And the little I will say is not going to be, to be long, is that I intend to, to read a, just a few verses of the Bible on the subject of the word supplications. That is, that is all I'm going to, to say. And after reading some of those verses, then I will leave it for you to decide on your own with whatever little attention you pay to this video. And if you really love yourself, I think I should advise that you should pay as much attention as you need so that you might escape from the evil that is now out there calling itself Christianity, whereas it is basically and totally a no-cut thing. Totally and basically an no-cut thing. But of course, likes to call itself Christianity. Uh, Mr. Adeyemi, uh, he, will, he will like you to believe that uh, his, day, his day, day star church is a Christian church. But of course, you have to now listen and see the kind of thing that he teaches. And you ask yourself, if there, if the, if there was anything called the language of power 
and how to how to leverage unlimited opportunities. How come Peter did not know this? How come Apostle Paul didn't know about these new discoveries that these people are now making available in fine suits? I've said it many times and for so long as I have breath, I'll continue to say it. And let me tell everybody that does not want to hear my voice. Where before this voice becomes silent, God in his mercy is raising men and women fast smarter. Fast smarter, fast far wiser than me. Who are going to take up this duty? of enforcing as much as possible the truth of the gospel of letting anyone who cares to listen to hear and to know that the voice of the lord jesus christ is far different from the voice of witchcraft that the word of faith people are teaching checking the bible to know the truth. So briefly, let me quote a few passages in the Bible. I will just read a few of those passages. And let me advise you, so that you, as Paul will say, so that you do not build your faith on whatever little I say, on the wisdom of men, on my own wisdom, which is very limited. I advise you to do a simple, a simple search in your computer on your bible and put the word supplications so that you actually read yourself because i can't read everything that you have uh, on supplications on prayers on seeking the face of god for whatever you, you you are looking for in your life so as to distinguish that from learning the language of power and leveraging unlimited opportunities that a master sorcerer Sam Adeyemi is teaching our children you, you yourself should go and do this search P put supplications and possibly I should advise put also Sam Adeyemi say keywords Put them in your in your in your in your search in the in the Bible. How to leverage power words? How to speak the language of power? Put it inside your your your, your Bible and see whether anything comes from Abraham, from Samuel, from Moses, from Daniel from Paul, from Peter, any of them that actually knew or spoke this new language that Mr. Adeyemi is teaching our people. So you can do the search yourself. You can do your Bible study. You don't need me to... Uh, maybe, maybe all you need me for is that I should simply raise this issue with you and you yourself take your bible take the bible at least i wasn't the, i'm not the one that wrote the bible take the bible and do search yourself and see whether the bible supports supplications praying to god prayers or the bible actually has places where anyone stood somewhere Declaring in the language of power. And whatever the person declared was what happened. Let me summarize very quickly, even before I start reading the Bible. Mr. Ademi 
and the other word of faith people, they look swift. They actually are ladras. I can tell you that one categorically. They are actually occult people. I'm not missing words and I don't care. Because anybody who can put what you have on your screen to teach young people in the name of Christianity, in the name of the religion of Christ or the faith of Christ, something that the Lord Jesus Christ himself never hinted at. He never taught any of his disciples. No apostle ever, ever gathered anyone together to say he had any secret set of power language that he wanted to tell them. So whoever is doing this and is calling himself a minister, a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ, just as I've always said, you should ask yourself the question, which Jesus does this man serve? Which Jesus does Mr. Adeyemi serve? That's a very that's that's not a small thing. Which Jesus does this man and the people that gather in their circles, all of them, as I said, all of them teaching our children Hinduism. After removing their white garments that they used to wear as Aladura priest, calling themselves uh, uh, evangelicals, when in actual fact they have never met the Lord Jesus Christ. As if the Bible has any secret portion anywhere where you can learn through the Bible how to speak the language of power and leverage unlimited opportunities. If you can leverage unlimited opportunities, do you need to pray? Do you? Really? Really? You do you need any God anywhere? If, if there are unlimited opportunities, you can simply leverage by your speaking. Because that is what Mr. DME is saying. Incidentally, that is what all of them are saying. They are all teaching the same thing. All of them that have, that have opened religious business in Nigeria. Calling it ministries. All of them. All of them that have started religious business. Calling it Christian ministries. It is the occultism of sorcery. Of sorcery. That is what they teach. How to speak the language of power. You should learn how to speak the language of power. How to just stand up somewhere and declare and make prophetic declarations. So reading a few verses on supplications I'll just read maybe two or three, maybe four. Uh, as I said, your best bet is to pick the Bible yourself. I'm reading uh, Second Chronicles chapter six, verse twenty-one. This was uh, obviously this was uh, Solomon praying, praying to God, hearken therefore unto the supplications of thy servant. And of thy people, which they shall make towards this place. Hear thou from thy dwelling place, even from heaven. And when thou hearest, forgive. That was Solomon. Praying. And saying whatever he was, do was doing was supplicating, begging. Begging. If anybody tells you that it is beneath your level to beg, supplication is the same thing as begging. Let me tell you, it's to supplicate is to beg. If anybody tells you that it is beneath your level to beg your maker, the, the person is setting you up for destruction. 
supplication is the same thing as begging. That is the that is the ordinary street name for it, interpretation for it. Begging God. You need to tell me when a beggar becomes a power user. Somebody who, who wits power. In verse 39, he prayed again. That is 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 39. Then he had thou from the heavens, even from thy dwelling place, their prayer and their supplications and maintain their cause. And forgive thy people which, which they have sinned against thee. You will never get anything better in your life than God hearing your begging. So don't let us call it the fancy name of supplication. It's begging. It's begging your maker. Begging the person who, makes, who made you and who is sustaining you. Psalm, uh, David in Psalm, uh, in Psalm um, 28, verse 2. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee. David was uh, <laughs> a, little more, a little more clear about himself. Um, and about who he, who he was, who he was talking to. He was not presuming to, to, to use any language of, pow of power. When I cry unto thee, it's important for you to realize that what we are talking about is not just begging, crying and begging. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee. When I lift up my hands toward thy holy oracle, it is the prerogative of God to hear any prayer, to hear you. Even when, even when you beg. Even when you, even when you supplicate, it is his sub prerogative. Absolute. Absolute prerogative. Anybody telling you that you have any right with God, that you can do anything that will make God hear your prayers by any means, apart from of himself, Apart from of himself and of himself alone, his mercy. The person, the, these people are teaching evil. Hear the voice of my supplications. Psalm 28, verse 2. When I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands toward thy holy, or, toward thy holy place, when I cry unto thee, in, in, in chapter 86, verse 6, David again, the writer of, of Psalm 86, verse 6, was begging God, Here, give here, O Lord, unto my prayer, and attend to the voice of my supplications. Attend to the voice of my begging. Of my pleading, supplications, pleading, begging. That is what you have as a human being. Anybody telling you that you now have the power. Only witchcraft, only sorcerers, only those are the only group that presume to have any right, any power to do anything when it comes to God, when it comes to spiritual authority. And I mean it, even today than supplications, than pleading with God. That God we consider. That God, for the sake of Christ, he will consider. And he will accede to your begging. In, in 130, Lord, hear, that is Psalm 130, verse 2. Lord, hear my, hear my voice. Let thy ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. Psalm 130, verse 2. Lord, hear my voice. 
hear me when I cry. Cry. That is the true Christianity. Any other thing from any other person masquerading as a leader, as a Christian, is not from the Bible. It's not. Let me read a few from Daniel. Uh, in Daniel chapter 9, the Bible told us that Daniel, after realizing the terrible situation in Jerusalem and his nation was, set his face, set out to pray to God. And I set my face unto the Lord. I'm reading chapter 9, verse 3, Daniel chapter 9, verse 3. And I, and I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth and ashes. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek by prayer and supplications with fasting and sackcloth. That is Christianity. It has, that, that is how it has been. That is how it has always been. Any other thing, I will repeat this for the umpteenth time. Any other thing being taught by Samuel Adeyemi, by William Kumuyi, by David Wedepo, by Inokadeboye, by anybody in their circle teaching any other thing was originally from Hinduism. And the West African fashion of it was what the occult in West Africa had taught for thousands of years. And that is what these people are teaching. Anything that you have, anything under your, under your tongue, anybody teaching you that the power of life and death hide under your tongue and you can simply open your mouth and say things and power will come. Is from occultism. It's a teaching of witchcraft. It's a worldwide phenomenon. The Indians, the Indians do it. The blacks do it. The whites of Europe, they do it. The people in America, they do it. The Chinese do it. It's all occult. The religion is the religion of Satan and it's worldwide. Please do not get me wrong. If you think that this thing started with Pentecostalism in 1906, no, it didn't. It had always been. It's simply changing names. What they call Pentecostalism had always been is, is an occult thing. It, it does not have anything to do with Christianity. And it does not have anything to do with the, with the Pentecostal experiences of Acts chapter 2. Not, not at all. They are simply gasping for name. That is why they call themselves Pentecostals. No, they are not Pentecostals. They are occult people. Another name they used to bear in the past, and some of them still bear it, is, Christ, is Christian Science. They are, the same, they are the same people. They are the same people that teach that there is some power inside of somebody's mouth. They tell you if your wife, if you and your wife do not meet together sexually for one month, for two months, for three months, if you deny yourself food for 30 days, I'm telling you that is the reason why Inokadeboye makes it a point of duty to leverage 100 day fast every year, at times twice a year. It is the power they are looking for. They are not looking for the will of God. They are not looking for supplications. They are actually looking for witchcraft power. If you are looking for, if you are looking for God, and somebody tells you that you need to starve yourself, the person is calling the blood of Christ into question as the basis of your access to God, and that is witchcraft. It is such people that presume, because in actual fact, let me be very frank, in actual fact, 
they exercise power on those people that are not Christians. They actually do exercise, exercise power. After they have undergone those self deprivations, those self fasting, 60 day fasting, 100 day fasting, it is the power of the occult they are after. And they actually at times get the power of the occult. I want you to get that one clear. The only thing is that the Lord God has got nothing to do with them and he is going to punish them seriously. He's going to punish them, each one of them, except they repent. According to, to the promises in the Bible. Verse 18 of uh, Daniel chapter 9. Daniel is still praying. Oh my God, incline thine ear and hear. Open thy eyes and behold thy desolations. And the, and the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness. But for thy great masses. Not because we are good. Not because we are righteous. We are only seeking for this, for this favor. Because of your great masses. That is Daniel. And that is how it has been. Any other thing. It's a lie. I'm closing with uh, the teaching of, uh, of Paul on the same thing. On the same word, supplications. Of course, Christ in many, in, in, uh, in uh, Matthew chapter 7, taught that you should, you should seek. You should ask. You should knock. Apparently, he forgot to, to put that you should use power words. You should use power language. You should, you should, you should, you should, you should issue decrees. You should make orders. You should make declarations. Apparently, Christ forgot all those. But Mr. Sam Adeyemi has not forgotten. William Kumuyi has not forgotten. Inokadeboye has not forgotten. David David Oedepo has not forgotten that your orders, your declarations, your decrees, your mouth are what matters. But Christ forgot to tell you that you can make decrees. I, I pray, I pray. Uh, let me read uh, uh, 1 Timothy chapter 2. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving, giving of thanks be made for all men. Supplications. I pray this short talk will be of blessing to, to you. I pray you will pick your Bible. I pray, I pray somebody will begin to realize how terrible the situation of the people of Nigeria is and much of the people of West Africa and some parts of Africa too who are learning what they think is Christianity from the big men and the big women of Nigeria without realizing that what they are learning is the old Satanism, the old witchcraft, now giving fancy names by well suited people, people who are well dressed, people who believe that they know how to speak the language of power. And open up on limited opportunities for people.